Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I show you how to integrate Laravel API in React application. We are using React with Laravel. If you don't aware how to set up React in Laravel, then you should watch that tutorial first. Link given into the video description. I was created one crude in this application. You can see here and now i going to list these tickets in this react page using api so first of all i need to install axios for that because axios is using to call the api of the laravel and also i need to create api into the laravel so let me install axios first using terminal and fire command npm install axios you can see here axios dependency is installed in non module let me start server again and let me create the api so first of all open the web.php for create the routes so let me copy these and put it and specify get specify here api slash tickets also i need to declare method here so let me convert this into the array and specify method name get tickets and let me declare this method into the ticket controller and specify this method here and let me specify get tickets in this function you can see here written the view but we need to return the json so let me specify and response of the app base controller because this app base controller is extended into the tickets controller you can see here so we can use send response method from the app base component and specify tickets and specify the method here tickets retrieve successfully it's optional so api is created now let me open the app.js file which is located into the resource directory so let me open it first you can see here react app this is the react application and app.js is located inside the src now i need to call the axios function from here and call the api and get the data so let me use hook and declare one constant for the tickets and set tickets this set tickets method used for set the data and let me specify empty array as the default now let me specify use effect method here and also we need to specify dependency here and let me call axios here dot get you can specify method of the api we have a get api get method so i'm going to specify get and uh, let me specify the url and api slash tickets we need to specify and 
we listen the data into the then so let's specify here data and let me console this data first and then we can use so we can see the response from the APA also we need to add this use state here as well and let me add this data into the console now every, everything is fine let me fire npm run dev for compile the react application and then need to start server again you can see here compilation is done so let clear this and start the server php artisan so and refresh the server again let me open inspect element and show you and you can see here i got the internal server error let me refresh again and check for the issue and let me check controller i make some mistake in controller so let me check the function yes you can see here i forget to add dollar into the variable and that's why it failing let me refresh and check now call is success and get all the data and you can see here the console i get the data now i going to display this data in this page so let me use bootstrap list and create bootstrap list into the this application i going to use this list in my application so let me put here and make this comment and let's add here now i going to remove all because i use this tickets variable and make loop here but first of all i need to set the tickets into the this variable so i need to use set tickets function and getting data inside the data variable let me remove console and use this and let me specify here dot map and now we need to return this inside this map function so let me specify return statement and inside i need to put this li and let me get single ticket here and also i need to specify subject ticket dot subheader this is the key which i get into the this variable now this one is ready let me remove this also i need to add bootstrap cdn for the css of list so let me specify into the blade file which we used in laravel welcome dot blade and specify it here 
and stop the server and fire npm run dev command for compile the react application compilation is successfully done let me start server psv artisan so and let's refresh let me check what happened think issue with the i specify subheader but is subject so let me come back again and let's fire command npm run dev compilation is done psp rt shun so and let's refresh and you can see here list is appear let me make some css change so you can see easily we have f dot css and let me make content left and I going to specify div here and specify class name is content close the div also let me specify la here and color is black so we can see easily let me compile the react application again and you can see here now it list into the react application with the laravel api so you can easily integrate it and we will learn how to call api using redux and store the data into the redux store in next tutorial thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you